Richardson to Velasquez hitting at the five spot. Head homer to three. And Springer, they have all played very well all season long. Kevin Biggio makes his second consecutive. The bench later today. Underway and a first pitch ground ball to short right at Clement. And he'll take a fastball a little bit up for ball one. Guerrero calling for it in foul territory. One pitch ground out. The first batter in here, he really 21 homers. And he'll look one over, seeing how fast the half inning is going right now. He is just a big, big presence in that batter's box. He is a big guy. But he's a good RBI guy. That's a fair ball down to Fabigio across to Guerrero. The last couple of times out, as that one almost hits George Springer. He just had to back away. And a high chopper towards short. Witt, bare hands, fires. Angles his body. Watch how he turns his body so he can get his hand in position to make the play. Makes a terrific play to very well all season. And now one up and in to Spencer Horwitz on the first pitch that he's Brandon Belt, who is coming back from both a stomach virus and a sore back. He would have been DHing hitting second, but instead it's Horwitz getting the start. A nice play made by the pitcher MacArthur for the seventh start in right field. Garcia, Witt Jr., Massey, and Prado around the diamond. Here Guerrero Jr. And he grounds one down to third. El Garcia. Hit from having him behind the plate. Arden, thank you. And Kirk has caught Gosman quite a bit this couple of times a week. The days of a catcher catching six days a week. Catcher, that's a lot. MJ Melendez leading off the second for the Royals, 2.30. And that's just off the outside corner, three and one the count. Cool of what you're going to see. Given the altitude and, and the spacious outfield and so forth things this year. As he misses high, ball four. He is cut down on his. Nelson Velasquez, the right fielder, looks at a strike on the outside corner for last night's game. Good splitter there, and it's 0-2. Yeah, there's a lot of swing and miss in this Royal Royals, and that's a great split finger pitch. You can see how he just runs it down in the zone and it swings over the 59 in the third innings coming into this game today. I think that has a lot to do with his using that fastball downstairs. Just missed with that low heater. Two and two. He said. Good stop there by Kirk. Three and two the count. He was in the dirt, so you got to be thinking about a ball in the dirt, and he does a night. And here's the 3 2, and it's swung on and missed to get him one down. A walk, he can throw it for strikes, and he throws a very effective one. You see how Velasquez was looking for a fast. With Kikuchi on the mound, some of the lefties were not in there for Kansas City. Broke in last year, played 50. And a high fastball foul back, one and one. And another throw to keep Melendez. Up. And there he goes. And the pitch fouled back one and two. He had a good jump as well. He had a stolen base in last this season with four caught stealing. One is lying to left center and making it look easy. There, two down. Well, watch how quickly he responds to the crack on his horse. Makes a nice running catch. Must be nice to have those kind of skills where it's. Slider there and a swing and a miss. As you can. And three ground ball this outs one is the up the middle. Backhanded by pitches. Schneider in the throw to first in time. Here around the ballpark. This guy who is very understated, unassuming, appreciative. Two and two. Yeah, and he understands that there's a veteran catcher behind. And that is on the outside corner. Good pitch there by MacArthur. Hitting in the five spot for the second game in a row. The Blue Jays with Chapman on the IL. So they've actually got lefties hitting two, five, seven, and nine. Backdoor curveball, and it's one and two. Yeah, I think the Blue Jays are to the game. And a bouncer out to Massey at second, two down. It went one for three before he was lifted for a pinch runner late in the game. And the Blue
Blue Jays don't particularly care where the offense comes from. But uh, Danny Jansen back with the team today, but but it it seems as if he is out for the duration of the regular season for sure. Should the race. I can speak from experience. Yeah, 1985, and yeah, I the postseason. And a broken bat, one hopper to Massey at second. Kirk and the Blue Jays are retired against Kevin Gosman, who starts him with a strike of the knees. And a foul back, quickly 0 and 2. The waters would. Well, you don't have to apologize for not panning out in Atlanta. On the appeal, he went around and Waters strikes out. Who will offer at this split finger pitch? Because you think it's going to be a fastball, and then you see it break off the plate. Try to check your swing, and it's much too late. And be traded in baseball. Most cannot. It was a competitive balance round pick, the 35th overall in exchange. Here's the. A 2 0 splitter is swung on and missed. The Blue Jays as the Rangers the Astros and the Mariners not to mention the Red Sox of the Yattle strike three call back to back strikeouts for, for the Royals and he really delivers this pitch with authority inside part of the top of the order for Michael Garcia the third baseman and it is a big strike zone it has been a big strike zone eight handed batters so if you're Gosman and that was a splitter but you know if an umpire is going to get near the mound Guerrero coming in for it and makes the catch and it's another three a likely future Hall of Famer and he'll face Dalton Varsho back a long time now but this guy won a Cy Young Award as a Royal back in 2009 of the season in Kansas City but there was a time when he was as dominant as anybody oh, yeah. in baseball position player coming out of high school. He won uh, six gold gloves. Yeah, he's a terrific alley at Sao Perez. Varsho pops it up right near second, and he switch hitting yeah. with power. You know, Grinky <laughs> was drafted in 2000 Center, but running it down shy of the track is Melendez. 2002. Uh, Grinky's still playing, and obviously he's not the third. And a ground ball to second. So Greinke handles the Blue Jays or the Rays went on to beat the Mariners. And after the game Kirby said. Who had pitched three days in a row. Broken back ground ball to third. Biggio across to. Points a finger at the front offices. Because they have created this. Because the way they use pitching and put count I'm done. Well, you know what? I don't think we push pitchers hard enough nowadays to push them later. I think the industry overall has done a terrible job of developing pitching. Here's a fly to deep left and saved. He has been outstanding, whether he's playing in left or center. Here he times his lead perfectly. 